Hey, my name is Phil from softwarepilot.io. In this quick video, I wanna share with you my favorite cheap Windows VPS server, which is a platform called iPortal. Now I've been using iPortal since 2020, and after searching the internet for affordable options, majority of times for my students, I came across iPortal and I've been using them ever since. Now I have talked with the team at iPortal and they've agreed to give me a 10% discount to my subscribers. So if you wanna get that discount, make sure you use the link in the description and I will show you that discount code in just a second. So this is the iPortal website. As you can see, they have four different locations for website servers for Windows. And the good thing about this platform is they're not just going to give you a really cheap price on a server and then try to upsell you on the Windows subscription. All of these plans include Windows. And let me show you what I mean. So the US Windows VPS, this actually has the Windows license included. They are also remote desktop protocol included, so you can log in via things like Microsoft Remote Desktop. And they have got different levels, of course, of RAM and of um, CPU, depending on what you need and what you want. Now, I first started on the small box, then I upgraded to the medium box for different types of software that I run. And I've stuck around the medium box for now. I know eventually I'm gonna need to upgrade to the WoW and Deluxe. But the cool thing about this is if you never, if you ever, sorry, need to upgrade, the support team here is phenomenal. They'll get back to you within usually less than six hours just using support tickets. So what I'm gonna do is show you my back end, And this is actually the service that I've been using back then it was just six dollars to get started with the small box you can see i upgraded to the ten dollars and as you can see i've been using it since 2020 so it's pretty dang impressive so what i'm going to do now is actually go ahead and place a new order and i'll show you also that discount code so for now i'm just going to start with a medium box once again so click order now now just keep in mind this discount code that i'm going to give you is actually just a one-time discount code which basically means if you want to get the most out of it you want to upgrade to the longest pricing plan which at this time of shooting is 12 months and at the, at the moment is 105 dollars of course you'll get 10 uh, percent off which will be about 94 dollars 50 or something like that afterwards for the sake of this demo though because this is actually just one of my test accounts i'll um I'll, I'll just create it on the $10 monthly cycle. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly add in a password like so, and you can choose either uh, Windows 2016 or 2012. Go ahead, click on continue. And then what it will come to is this little page here where it says enter in your promo code. And I hope you're ready for it. It is a software pilot, okay? So go ahead and enter in software pilot, click validate code. And then boom, there is 10% taken off your order. Once again, this is a one-time discount, so it's much better to go for the longer plan. So we'll go ahead and check out right now. So I'll click on checkout. And I quickly had to see if it had too many private details, but it doesn't look like it does, so that's good. So go ahead, choose the method that you want to check out with, either using your card or PayPal, perfect money, or even Bitcoin, um, if that's what you want. So I'm just gonna choose uh, TransferWise, come down, click I have read to the terms and conditions, this terms of service, click complete order, right? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and verify this real quick. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and verified that. And as you can see, you will receive an email confirmation shortly. Your order number is this. Um, and we'll go ahead and continue to client area. So now that we have uh, added an, our new VPS, what you want to do is actually click on it right here. Okay, and it's going to take you to the server information and additional information. But what we want to do is go ahead and click on login to control panel, one click login. And this is going to be the place where we can actually get access to the information on our VPS. So this is actually uh, where you will sign into your VPS. And if you're wondering where the login information is, go ahead and check your email. Right below here is going to be the username and password. So what I'm gonna do is quickly just pause the video once again and add these into the server so I can get access. 
Okay, so this is the dashboard of our VPS, right? At the moment, we don't actually have one set up. If you go to space statistics, you will see how your server's been running. This is more if you've got multiple servers on the same um, Windows account, but we don't in this case. What we wanna do though is come to Hyper-V, and this is where we can actually create our VPS, right? We've just bought the plan basically. Uh, we're in control of the VPS. This is perfect for if you need to reset, things like that, but go ahead, click Create VPS, okay? at the top right and in a few seconds it'll give us some info so host name uh, I'm just going to click generate host name automatically so it's going to do it automatically choose your operating system right and it's going to say add in a password so I'm just going to go ahead and pause it and add in a password because it's not blanked out like so and you can get it to send you an email with all the info if you want as well and then go ahead and click on next okay now it's going to say here is all of your options obviously you don't want to limit it so leave it as it is and if you come down there's not really anything that you need to have on it but it is basically good to go from here I'll just quickly move my face click on next okay and move back here uh, number of IPs we'll just have one okay and then click next one more time and then come down and then there is finish right so it's pretty simple just a uh, host name password and things like that so now it is just setting things up. It's not gonna take very long at all. As you can see, it's just installing Windows on the certain drive and everything like that. So I'll just pause the video and see how long it actually takes to complete. Okay, so that took about 15 seconds, which was pretty awesome really, if you think about it. So let's go ahead, ahead to configuration. Okay, and then it gives us our operating system, the administrator password. So if you ever forget it, you can check it inside here. Then it tells you all of your systems, right? We'll come to network quickly, okay? It tells us our server address, things like that, and then also our IP address, which we're going to need. And then finally, it's got an audit log. So what I'm gonna do right now is quickly just copy this address, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Microsoft Remote Desktop. Now, I've already got one here, which, which is actually one of my bots I use for YouTube, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new instance. So click Add PC. And once again, we've got our IP address already copied, so just paste that in. User account, you wanna go ahead and create a new account. Type in here administrator, and then you wanna type in your password that you already created. Now, friendly name, I'm going to call this um, new VPS, right? Just for this example. Click on add, click on add, okay? And now this one's been added to our account, so we wanna go ahead, double click on it, and click on connect and don't ask again for this PC. Okay, and then in a few seconds, it is going to log in as you can see. And now we have got our brand new VPS added to this account. So this is pretty cool. I'll just let it load for a few seconds so you can see how it all is, right? So this is all good, all ready to rock and roll. Okay, so it's just loading up for the first time. But that is pretty much it, guys. That's how simple and easy it actually is. Less than 10 minutes, you've got yourself a very cheap and affordable Windows VPS ready to rock and roll. So hopefully that is um, easy to follow in terms of instructions. Anyway, so that's it, guys. That is my uh, favorite cheap Windows VPS server. Once again, if you wanna get that 10% discount, make sure you use the link in the description and don't forget to use the discount code in this video. If you've liked this video and got value, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on more videos.